Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Amazing X-Men issue 2. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 25. This is a milestone uh, episode, so definitely go check it out. And that's a show where I review all the comic books I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. One you actually voted uh, to be an exclusive comic, which was TMNT The Shredder um, issue 8. Uh, which is a micro-series, so definitely check that out. And here are the other exclusive comics, Green Arrow, issue 26, and Marvel Knights X-Men, issue 2, so definitely go check those out. And let's talk about Amazing X-Men, issue 2. Uh, so let's talk about the cover. Um, honestly, I was pretty excited for this issue because I really enjoyed the first issue. I remember it was very, very close to being my pick of the week, and that week was just a really good week for comics. And uh, I, I don't remember what I decided to actually be pick of the week, but this is like number two on my list or something. It got five stars. Uh, so I really enjoyed the first issue. It was a shock because I'm like, oh, it's pirates, and I don't really like Nightcrawler that much. Or, you know, I like him, but he's not one of my favorite characters. So when he did die, I thought it was a you know, notable death, but I didn't really miss him either. Uh, so I was like, I don't know if I really like this series, but it's just a, it's Jason Aaron. It's always a fun ride. Uh, so cool cover. We get to see Hell, Heaven, and we get to see those uh, themes here in this, uh, in this issue. So let's see what's going on with the story. And also I really do like the art here. It's kind of classic X-Men and, um, maybe a little bit on the cartoony side, but it does remind me a lot of, um, the all new X-Men art, which I, I really do enjoy. So I did like the art here. Uh, so we do get to see Firestorm, Iceman, Storm, Fire, Firestorm, why did I say that? Firestar. Firestar, Iceman, and Storm, uh, they are all in hell. Now, they don't know they're in hell until, like, the end of the issue, but uh, Iceman is melting. It's like, why am I melting? And he actually uses his whole powers to try to freeze hell over, and that didn't quite work, and now he's unconscious. Uh, so that's what's going on with their story. They're just in hell, they're trying to figure out exactly where, where they are, and they do figure out where they are, but they're also trying to defeat the Hellions, I guess, these, uh, these people in hell. They're trying to defeat them. Now, we also get to see the Heaven story where there's this pirate named Captain Jack. I wonder where they got that from. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe? Uh, so there's this pirate named Captain Jack, and he's trying to kill Wolverine, pretty much. And there's this guy in Wolverine's head. Who is this guy? It is Nightcrawler, but Wolverine doesn't know that. But Nightcrawler's like, you're in heaven. Oh, no, actually, it wasn't Nightcrawler. It was Professor X. Uh, he says, you're in heaven. You, you can't fall, or else something's gonna happen. Uh, but in the end, he actually does fall off the plank, and... We'll see what happens to him. I guess he'll probably go to hell with Storm and, and all of them. Uh, and then we get to see Nightcrawler's like, I am where I belong, but I need to help my friends. And even he says, this is not my story, but let me go help my friends and reclaim my boat, my, reclaim a home. And that's what he does here. I don't, is this really a return Nightcrawler or is he going to stay in heaven? I don't know. I think that's something that will be interesting throughout the story arc. Because after that ending, it feels like Nightcrawler wants to stay, but he's just helping his friends a little. Uh, which I feel like would be better in my opinion. I don't know if I really want Nightcrawler to come back so soon. Uh, but I, I think this is a cool story arc to just show the people that did die. They're in heaven. They're enjoying themselves. And they can have an adventure like this. Um... No, I like this issue. I did, but it also has felt so cheesy. Um, you know, that's one thing I was really scared of with this pirate thing. And there's a lot of it that was really cheesy. And, uh, you know, if you overlook the cheesiness, if you, you see the Nightcrawler parts and the, the cool dialogue between, uh, you know, Firestar, Iceman, and all them, it's a fun issue. You could look over that and you'll, you'll get bits and pieces that you enjoy this issue. Uh, but then, and also the art was great too, but then there's that pirate story that you're just not really enjoying. So it's like everything you're enjoying is those characters and the actual story, but the villains you just don't like that much. And it's not interesting. Again, it's so cheesy. Um, and I think there is a, a, a thin line with cheesiness. And sometimes in Wolverine X when you'll have a cheesy uh, story arc, and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. You know, it's cheesy, but it's fun. Um, and I think with Jason Aaron's stories, you do get some cheesiness sometimes. But uh, this issue I felt was a little bit too cheesy in my opinion. Uh, but I did enjoy it overall. So I'm going to give it a 3.5. I don't know what direction they're really going with it. I know if we get a good Nightcrawler story, get a good Heaven Hell story, I, I think I'll like it. But if we're pushing those pirates, that's when I'm going to tend to be like, I don't really think I like this issue. Uh, but I think there's less pirates and more X-Men story that I could give this a 3.5. I thought it was an okay issue, but I hope they 
tend to stay with the X-Men and less pirates. If they need the pirates, sure, just give us less of it. Uh, so I am going to give it 3.5. It was a little worse in um, issue 1 because I really loved issue 1. So I was a little disappointed with this issue. But overall, if it was okay, just hopefully they go in a good direction with issue 3. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, this, uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on uh, Facebook. Like me on Facebook. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their end situations. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.